Hello everyone and welcome back to EU4, the Prussian aggression. We're currently in war with France. We're sieging the stuff. <laughs> We're pissing in their cornflakes. It's great, they've taken so many casualties, we have barely taken any in return. We've got Aragon on our side, who annexed, you know, Austria a few episodes back now. It's confusing, but it's quite funny, I'm not gonna lie. Could I get away with a piece right now, actually? No, we could not. Good thing is, aggressive expansion is low as all hell. That's good. I'm gonna want to try and annul France's treaties. Because, you know, France. I don't want to fight them if I don't have to. Even when knowing that I can totally take the piss out of them. Which is quite great, I'm not gonna lie. Thuringia has a few claims on Bohemia. Bohemia is currently allied with Nassau, Brabant and Georgia, so not actually all that many people. Also, we're getting a crap ton of money. So we're going to have to invest it into something. Our manpower is dwindling. Might not be a bad idea to build a few more of these training fields, but I don't know where. They don't have space in Castle or Hesse. The other provinces really aren't meant for anything military at the moment. Matterborn, you are terrible, aren't you? We'll improve them a little bit, though. There we go. Actually make a decent living. There we go, we'll put some admin in you as well. Buff you a little bit. Now, how will you do now? 502. It's getting better, perhaps in the future. Till then, we'll keep our... Uh, try to keep our war exhaustion low. Our army tradition will always remain high. Militarization will remain somewhat high, but we'll have to keep spending more points into there now. Ooh, speaking of which... Does go down quite quickly now, I'm afraid. <laughs> Point... 26 provinces, yeah, there you go. Uh, wait, what? Excuse you? We have to piece... We can't just walk into there? That's a shame. Within the fort of Paris, yeah. Really, we can't just... Walk through their lands here, really? We just screw Burgundy first, then. Like, this should be the capital, right? Yeah, it is. Right then, that'll settle that. Income is quite nice, I'm not gonna lie. We've got a level 3 at 50% discount, a level and two level 1s. They're not bad. I quite like them. I'm tempted to... You know what, I'm gonna hire some mercenaries. We're gonna beef up our armies a little bit with non... Like... Without using any manpower. We can afford it. Look at our war chest. It's huge. There we go. You can sneak in there. Poland's land of our merchants. This is why I want to have high prestige. To protect against their shenanigans. Bloody shenanigans. There we go. Uh, you can join me in France. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, you need to go over there right now. Crap. Let's not head in there, shall we? I'd hate to fight the French when I don't have to, you know? That's the siege of Bourgeon. You want to peace out now? That's funny. I think I might take it, actually. Although, of course, we'll take a bit more of their land first. Burgundy. What could we get out of this war? Uh, war up money. You are poor as all hell. Peasants. Don't really care about your alliances. You're not allied with anyone important. You know, I'll take that. That'll do. 
There's currently a 60 stack of French over there. That's bad. You get back over there. Let's do something about that French stack running rampant. Send the Ansbach first, I guess. You are headed to Frankfurt to siege it out again. You know what? Enjoy the siege. Only 0.5% morale. That's not the mu that's not much, is it? Let's get you guys in there. There we go. You can walk to Hess. We'll try fighting some French again. That'll be fun. Oh come on, Mr. Frenchie! What are you doing? You're gonna get there on the 29th, you're gonna get there on the 24th. I think we'll wait like one or two more days. Oh wait, what? You're gonna outspeed us by one day? That's cheap. We were just waiting for reinforcements to get here. Oh, never mind, we caught them. Look at those casualties, they are just getting wrecked. Our line of battle is huge. Oh, <laughs> 2800, that was great. Look at that. Beautiful. At least 3 to 1 casualty rate. Now we can actually take the sensible path in France. It's goddamn about time. Manpower is not doing too well. We're gonna need some time to recover after this, which, you know, understandable since we're literally fighting the second largest world power, France. One does not simply defeat France. You can well imagine. We can definitely siege out Paris, though. It's only level 3 fort, my god. You've been abandoning your own capital, France. What is... what? Disgusting. Does mean it's going to be a lot easier to annul their treaties and whatnot. Uh, cruelty of mercenaries. For... Frick's sake! Assholes! I tell you. It's like the one time I hire mercenaries. Immediately. Eh, eh, eh. They're gonna start bitching. My god. Oh, we can embrace manufactories. What am I gonna pay? I would say I'm not gonna pay 1300. But that would be incredibly cheap of me. Then again, eight years ahead of time. I'm not gonna do it. Enjoy. Uh, Potsdam, how are you doing? Matter of fact, let's just look at the whole institution thing in general. Yeah, you are slowly getting it, but... Berlin actually fully embraced it already, wow. Also, Konigsberg is about to. Especially if we were to put some military and diplo points in there. Wow! We won Paris in two months. Holy crap. It's official, we are kicking the living daylight out of France. We should fight Nuremberg. Just kidding. Oh my god. This is fun. Too much fun, almost. Aiken! You want to start off, don't you? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. We'll just keep killing more dudes, then. Still got a solid casualty rate of 2 to 1. This is fantastic. Never thought I'd be the one sieging France. I always assumed it would be opposite. Oh, by the way, that's a fort. Let's take care of that first, shall we? Nassau insulted us. Oh, that's a bad move, Nassau. Have you seen France lately? I don't think you have. We're literally sieging France, so that might be something you want to reconsider. Oh, they're rich. My god. Let's build up a bunch more war score against them then. Calais! Hey! There we go. Way to go, Mecklenburg! You're doing a thing! It's beautiful! How's our dynasty looking? It's not very. It's not really spread any further after all that. 
Rabanz actually has a Frenchman on the throne. Interesting. Oh well, that should be uh, Barry taken care of soon. I'm doing what England could not do. Oh, that's a giant French stack. That's bad. Expiring CB, now so. We'll wait. We'll wait. We can bide our time. It's fine. And our subjects finally expired. Thank God. France is actually on low, low enthusiasm. Yeah, we hold our capital. We hold everything. Corrupt bureaucracy. Why? We literally have no corruption. Vile pirates of Tunis right at the coast of Algarve. Tunis can raid... Province. They can raid land that we own? Huh? Oh well. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. We're just gonna keep carpet sieging France because that's <laughs> that's hilarious to me still. Well, yeah, let's occupy France. Let's freaking do it! I'm also getting 10 ducats worth of war reparations almost. Holy crap. Nice bit of extra income. We could actually weaken France, imagine that. Hey France, we've got 28% war score against you. That would be an unlaw alliance with Portugal. The most important one, Castile. And Brabant. Cool, cool, cool. And then I want all your money. It's gonna take us up to a little bit more. What's a war app? <laughs> Cause that's always useful to have. Like, we'll just keep carpet seeding France. Come at me, bro. We're bringing it to you. That's a star fort. That's going to be a pain. Calais just fell. Excellent. Let's get some more sieges going. Oh my god, this is amazing. Just the whole notion of we are sieging France. I can't get over it. Erica. Oh, Erica, right. We're doing stuff over here, I see. That's Great Britain. Oh, that's what they've been raiding then. Fair enough. Bohemia declared war on Ansbach. Declare cleansing heresy. Ah, yes, they're Catholic. It's because Mainz is Catholic and we released them. They always take the uh, the faith of the person you release them from, sadly. Let's take care of that star fort because it's going to be a bloody pain. They have a lot of defensiveness. Oh, why is that? Defensive mentality, Enric Oldenburg. Oh god, they're fully defensive. That explains the lack of manpower. I say lack of manpower, we're still at 30k. More than enough. Something to keep an eye on anyway. Aiken, would you piss off now? Yes, you would. Prestige, don't really need it. Cancel that alliance. Oh, you wouldn't take anything else. You know what? Just sod off. <laughs> Still, casualties are looking really good for us. A lot of them have actually been... Not us. So, that's good. Although we are about a third of the casualties in total. Not counting any attrition ones either. We could be doing better, but honestly, we're winning against France. That's good enough for me for today. You can bet we're going to make some gains. Uh, yes, I would like you to visit over there now. It's only level 2 fort. We should be able to take that quite easily. Lost trade dispute. Can't move there for some reason. That's okay. France, how much war score do we have against you now? You still wouldn't take it. The man's exceed war score, that's like the only thing keeping us back right now. Oh yeah, we're on 55. Oh, they're pretty rich. Uh, what if we don't take the war rep? Eh, I want the war rep. Let's just keep going. <laughs> uh, spare no expense. Uh, yeah, we'll just finish that siege. 
They might actually go for mains, though. Or, like, liberate Frankfurt. That would be bad. If we could pull off that siege, get a bit more war score. Ooh, there's a fight. Ooh, Aragon, you're fighting Portugal. I approve. They disrupted the siege. Thank you. Poor Mecklenburg. They inherited a losing battle. We'll do okay, we'll do okay. Siege progress is now back to minus 49, that's good. Frankfurt really just wants out of the war at this point. I don't blame them. They're caught in a crossfire. Like, we could probably take the flat-out piece and, like, take Frankfurt. I still... It's still hard to believe that our first, like... Couple hundred thousand casualty war was over Frankfurt. A one-province minor in the Empire. Oh! We did the thing. Good. Trade company in Würzburg. Sure. Where's Würzburg? Würzburg's over here. There you are. We'll wait until the war's over, methinks. Yeah, that's a good idea. Twenty percent? Come on! Actually, drop down. Fourteen hundred attrition. Ouch. I mean, France must be taking more though. Aragon, you've taken a crap ton as well. Oh, French peasants. That's bad. Come on, seize that freaking fort out. You know what? Fine, I'll peace out France without the war rep. I would actually take it. Cool. See ya. They alone suffered 126,000 casualties here. Cool. Well, we're going to go back home now. This should basically strengthen our position in Europe for a while. Also, we can have free reign. Yay. Should we just take this piece at this point? I think we should. We've got money. We can take the money. Holy crap! 444,000 casualties on their side in total. And we won! Woo! I'm gonna go celebrate. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, <laughs> many celebrations were had, I can tell you that much. I spent some monarch power improving Anhalt and Leipzig. We are building a trade company in Würzburg. And our moral, uh, our manpower cap is now 73,000, which is pretty good. You know, it's starting to look like something. But yeah, we spent a bit of monarch points. Still doing some things. I've advanced like two days off camera, just like settling in. Our spy network in Nuremberg is getting off the ground pretty nicely. Also lowered my war exhaustion, because it was at 4, so why the hell not? That's now gone, so that's going to re drastically reduce the um, unrest. Used to be at 10, now it's at 6. We should be able to get at least um, 1.2 out of there. The discontent is going to be annoying, but... I'm honestly considering grabbing Diplo ideas and then just grabbing Espionage to get the... There it is. Foreign spy detection, 33% bonus. It's going to increase their detection massively, which means it's a lot harder for them to dick me over. Which is what they're trying to do constantly. Since we have so many friends. There are only five of them. Isn't that beautiful? Meanwhile, we're still a fourth rank great power. And we're going to say hello to Russia at some point, because, well, frankly, this cannot stand. You know, we can't just let them go and take Norwegian land, which will belong to us at some point. Lithuania just no longer considers a rival. Did we surpass them, or is it just... Ooh. The Humiliates are starting to run out. Oh, there we go. We just surpassed Lithuania as a rival. Good, I wanted to re-rival Brabant, coincidentally. Uh, that's going to take care of that problem. Utrecht is still a thing, but I'm not really worried about them. We're going to have to fight Bohemia, Bremen, and Mainz. 
And if we call Bohemia as a co-belligerent, we could take some land for Thuringia. That would be interesting. They do have the increased coring cost, which makes it a hell of a lot more expensive to annex Thuringia at some point. I mean, all we need is Minichkov over there and Augsburg. Preferably Nuremberg as well, to form Germany. I think we're also going to need Elsass. Let me just quickly check again. Uh, yeah, we're going to need either Elsass or Königsberg, so we don't need any of those. That's good. I'm going to cancel this policy again, because we don't need it at the moment. So we'll put that one admin point back in our own hands. That'll be lovely. You're currently getting up there in age. Slowly getting to the point where you could die. Our upcoming leaders are not looking too great, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the uh, indulgent minus trade efficiency, although that's not the worst thing, you know? Ansbach is gonna convert it to Protestant. They are now of the one true faith. That should make integration easier later on. <laughs> Let's see, we're going to need Colon over here at some point, so annexing Nassau would be pretty good, probably. Yeah, go piss yourself. Wait, I hit the wrong button. I'm going to reload that. I did not mean to hit that right button. Well, there we go, like nothing ever happened. The only reason I went back is because, you know, I just took that land. I don't want to give it away again. And I accidentally hit the wrong button. Raban, you are a rival again. Welcome. You jerks. Now that you're not hiding behind France anymore, because I literally forced them to step away from you, we're gonna have a lot of talking to do. You know, a lot of catching up. I think it might not be a bad idea to start spying on Nassau over here. Hello. Alfonso VI of Portugal is the new emperor. There is only two electors. And that explains why they think they can get away with this. Go stuff yourself, Alfonso. We'll have to increase autonomy here, which is a shame. You know, they should elect a better... They should elect a better emperor. Right now, nobody is back in Portugal, which is probably for the best, considering the fact that Portugal is a horrible emperor. And they did not do anything to defend Frankfurt. The only thing they did was, you know, a lawful territory which can go stuff itself. Bunch of jerks. That's my lawful territory, mind you. We are making a lot of money. Admittedly, most of that is because of the whole war reparations thing. Also, we're going to cancel the... Uh, the thing again, because I forgot. Hungary received a gift from Poland. Oh, that's cute. Still not, still allied to a rival, heretic religion. They're never going to like us, which is a shame. Then again, they're not a powerhouse anymore. Prussia, Mr. Powerhouse. You know what powerhouses do? We upgrade our infantry. I was considering not doing this because, you know, we still need to recover our manpower. We're currently gaining 824 per month. Detach mercs. Detach mercs. We don't really need them anymore. I don't really want to keep paying them. Let's see. Yeah, we're currently paying four regiments. 2.7, whereas our entire army of 56 is costing just about... Ooh. Cool event. Gain 50 admin? Or gain 50 prestige? I'm gonna go for the admin, thank you. Boop. Boop. There we go, we're gonna strengthen our regiments with actual Prussian men. Which we can be proud of. We're gonna need about four years to recover that manpower to full. I did the calculations earlier. There now, it's not nothing. Sadly. But we'll live. Ooh, Thuringia. Um, 
Subject is tired of war. Yeah, we could just let them handle it, but we it would be a good show of faith if we let them have it. They would lose 10 war exhaustion. I'm not sure what their war exhaustion is right now. Can't exactly check over here. No, that would be useful, but no. I could check by calling them into the war. <laughs> Which, you know, doesn't seem like a smart idea. It does cost us 200 ducats, though. I'd rather get the extra prestige. You know, I don't need a relations buff with our vassal at the moment. I also think we might need a bit more... Cannon. I wouldn't mind some more cannon. You know what, let's double that. Why the hell not? We'll have 10,000 cannons, 18,000 men, perhaps even more. You know what, sure, we'll add in two more. Why the hell not? We gotta let people know that you cannot mess with Prussia. Our army tradition is falling. Oh my god. It's only 98. This cannot stand. Surely. Has how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not bad. Not too bad. I might upgrade you to be a level 6 fort then. Ah, uh, you know, we'll go and just upgrade you to a level 4 for now. Stolp is already level 4, that's fine. Königsberg's level 4. I think I'll build a level 6 star fort now in... Ortlesburg? You are a star fort, that's great, I love it. You don't have any manpower, do you? Nope, and you don't have the uh, autonomy down either. That's great. See you never. Oh well. Our army will be mighty. They will respect it. Or they will die. It's quite simple, really. This is also going to keep their power, their liberty desire down. I do need to start integrating them at some point. Oh well, let's pull back the spy network from Nuremberg at the moment. Ooh, they have 20 Diplo. Interesting. Then again, so do we. Nassau actually has 21, I think. My god, you bastards. Hell, even Poland and Lithuania have... Poland has 20 and everything, wow. Congrats. Trying to find someone that I can spy on for extra technology. I mean, 20 is pretty much ahead of the curve anyway, but 21? That's how you beast. Now, they will be able to discover my network when it grows above the size of 100, uh, over the size of 25. Which means you can basically get one claim for free. Oh god. That is a very expensive place to core, isn't it? Yes, it bloody well is. You've got a ton of development over there. Base cost per development is 10 admin. I'm tempted to vassalize you, to be honest. Yeah, you would provide a nice vassal over there. Bohemia and Utrecht. Good. Well, Vassal Nassau, then. That'll be wonderful. Good to see. Gain Navy tradition. Ooh. Frankfurt's now considered a part of our patrimony. We will defend it to the last drop of peasant blood. I expected nothing less. I think we'll get a lot of manpower from this. Base is 1750. It's not bad. They get from Berlin. 2250. My god. 1500 from Nuremberg. That's really good, actually. And it's got a level 4 fort. That's not bad. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Tax income is normally 11. Which is not bad. Berlin is 15. I think I'll build a cathedral over there. Yeah, why not? It's going to provide a lot of extra stuff. Oh, and you do have... A university of your own. Tempted to spend some military points here. 
Speaking of military points, we can get extra infantry shock and military tactics. <laughs> As if we're going to need to butcher even harder. That would be fun, I'm not going to lie. Oh, one second, let me quickly check something. Never mind, false alarm. Thought I saw uh, an opportunity for something, but never mind. We will carry on. Regimental camps, not bad, I might build some of those actually. We have some of those, ooh. Interesting. What would you provide? Not a lot of anything. What do you provide? Not a lot of anything. Yeah. State maintenance goes down. What's the state maintenance here? Westphalia. Can I see? Like what state maintenance is like? Westphalia, 0 0.09. Franconia is 0.15. I'm not sure if building a courthouse in each, like, part of the thing. Ooh, gain 50 military power. The military ideas of Hanalore. The consort Hanalore is proving to be a fearless woman. Okay, good. Interesting. Our Mecklenburgian consort is quite good at fighting. So we did raise you well, after all, Mecklenburg. I mean, you've got offensive, diplomatic... Oh, you're working on defensive ideas. That's good. That should help. Uh, yeah, we're still getting a lot of points. I like it. We're currently getting 11, 10, 11. Holy crap. Power projection. Yeah, that really helps. Also, good monarchs. Really helps. Ooh, prospering times. We're talking about Wurzburg here. Don't let me down, Wurzburg. Don't let me down. We're renowned for artistic achievements and blossoming economy. Artists, philosophers and poets are flocking to Berlin and the thriving economy allowed extensive artistic funding. Huh. We can gain admin, diplo or... Yeah. I mean, we're going to spend some admin points here, I think. Seems like a decent province. Spend some military points, and then I think we'll invest in better rural infrastructure to get extra, even more manpower. You know, base manpower is now 1,500. Getting pretty good. Franconian is a brother culture. Not quite as good, but I think once we form Germany, that problem should evaporate, so we'll leave that be okay. That's fine. Autonomy isn't helping, but the autonomy is still going down. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Base manpower of 2250 now. Holy crap, we're going to have to build a field, like, training field over there. Manpower is currently up to 75,000. And that's just peacetime development of 5,000 extra. Bohemia just allied the Ottomans. Holy crap. France, no... Allies at the moment. They actually sort of like us. But, yeah, heretic religion, allied to rival. We're allied to rival Great Britain and Russia, and they both don't like that. I might try and annul my alliance with Russia, because I know there's going to be clashes with them later. And I wouldn't mind getting in the royal marriage bed with France. Because they are very powerful. We have a truce with Sweden. I don't see him on the list. I think that expired a while back. Good. You're still protecting trade in Lübeck? That's good. You're still parked over there? That's great. Merchant slander has expired? That's good. I don't like my merchants being slandered. We could embrace manufactories for 1,100 ducats. Don't think I will, honestly. Not yet, anyway. I am very cheap about this sort of thing. We've been over this before. <laughs> You're about to embrace it. You're getting closer. Uh, it's getting spreadier. Yes, it's getting spreadier. Uniform regulations happen somewhere. Danzig is actually pretty close. 
Nearly 80%. If we spend some points over there... Get a bit of manpower, we'll get a bit of... Diplo, I think? Sure, why not? That should have increased, like, 12% extra? Yeah, almost. Cool. It's gonna make it a lot cheaper to embrace. I mean, embracement cost is down by like 20% because we have a ton of prestige and we are a great power. Not just a great power, but a great power. It's cool. You could say it's great. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, Neumark might be able to embrace soon as well. We're getting 10,000 manpower from there. If we pour in like... 100 military points, it's, it might be considered a lot, but honestly, it's got to increase our manpower by like another thousand. Holy crap. Our agent in Nassau has been discovered. That's... I wouldn't really call that bad, but it's not great. We could declare war on him. Bohemia would join, but that's about it. Great Britain would join, despite being in debt. Russia is not in debt, but in a distant war. Rather, it would be a distant war for them, and they would not care. Honestly, we could just wipe their army out at once. We've got 20,000 cannons to lie on the second row. We've got 38,000 infantry to just wipe the floor with them. Yeah, we should be okay. We can get both admin and diplotech. We can sabotage reputation, which is going to be really useful, actually. Holy crap. Can we send you back? Need to wait until August. Uh, we'll start spying on Brabant, I think. I do want to fight them. And then we'll start fighting Nassau over here. We did recover some of our manpower, which will be enough, really. Gotta try and defend Wurzburg from anything. That'd be great. And we're gonna say hello. Prussia style. Wipe their army from the battlefield, basically. Look at that battle line. Everyone's joining in on the second line. Oh, there we go. Fix it. Now everyone's joining on the first line. Look at that flanking fire. All the artillery's like, yeah, screw those guys. Boom. Friedrich Wilhelm, goal oriented. He gains a movement speed buff. That's cool. Oh, there he is. I was about to say, he doesn't seem to be here. One unfortunate game crash later. Oh yeah, we're back here. Okay, good. I didn't miss much then. I do just got his goal-oriented trait. That's good. I like the movement speed. Hopefully our armies, our allies' armies will attach to him. Well, it doesn't really matter anyway. It's gonna help catch people, that's for certain. I'll tell you to be aggressive. We can see the Rangers' war exhaustion is only six. See? That event where they were like, oh, you can give us money to reduce 10 war exhaustion. Eh, they were over-exaggerating. Cool, that is that done. I think we'll move you guys over to Wittenberg. And we're gonna siege at Bohemia now. Curtailed mercenaries finally expired, thank god. I hate her using mercenaries because of that one thing. It always pops up and it's like, oh, hey, guess what? We're gonna screw you over now. I'm like, no, please. And it gets screwed over again. It's great. It's really not great. Why are you so poor at improving... Oh, that was unlawful territory. Right. Aggressive expansion is going down quickly. 71%? Holy crap. Thank God. Siege of Nassau is over. You could check out Horny Luzich. I guess. I want to pull you out of the army temporarily. I don't want you to die on the way. Lose 10 admin, lose 100 ducats to get 20 extra prestige? Sure. I'm gonna keep my prestige high. It helps ward off spies and all other ailments. I'm gonna hire a military general. He's a 3644. Four. Wow! Holy crap, we're gonna siege this in no time. Hi! We've got four siege. Go, go stuff yourself. Holy... That's good. I like that. More of that, please. Hungry, I've set Bohemia as a target. 
I might go Defender of the Faith, actually. That would be hilarious. Spend 500 ducats. Get 5% morale of armies and navies. Lose more war exhaustion. Gain prestige. Although technology costs will be a bit higher. You know what? Let's freaking do it. <laughs> we are now Defender of the Faith. Hallelujah! May Protestantism flourish under our guidance. This is great. Good for a laugh, I can tell you that much. Uh, and of course we're looting Bohemia, because why not? My god, a four siege leader. I've never seen that one. I've seen three, but I haven't seen four yet. So this is new. Not that I mind, of course. I'm perfectly happy with this. Neumark's about to embrace manufacturers. That's good. Danzig already embraced it. Won the Siege of Wittenberg. Lovely. Next up, Praha. Should be a problem. There we go. I'm going to split you into you and you. We'll actually visit Ratibor first. Because why not? I'll split you halfway. You can go to Praha, I guess. Fortification expert! Eh, he's pretty good, I guess. Technology-wise... I have to pay a bit more, which is fine. Honestly. I don't mind. Let's start spying on Nassau again, because hey... No reason to not tech up, right? Relentless drugs, right? No! Our morale! It was so OP! It's still quite OP, let's be honest. Not like we're missing much. <laughs> Side with... Ooh. They want control of Frankfurt. Go piss off. I'm not gonna give that to anyone. You'll get too powerful. And now you're all pissed off again. God damn it. So annoying. I was like, oh! They'll randomly get annoyed at you now. Have fun! Truce with Burgundy just ended. That's fine. Manpower just keeps going back up slowly. Good. Did take quite a bit of attrition, actually. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, we're going to tell you to stop attaching to us now. That'd be great. Yeah, they've got fully defensive as well. Crap, I don't like that. I don't want to take attrition. That's fine. It's not too much. We can still embrace. I'm gonna wait like two years if we can. It might make a difference. Normark certainly did. 872. Yeah, that's a lot better. Hell, well, Sternberg might be able to embrace it as well. And AD Diplo. Send some admin as well. 96, that's better. Anyone else? Uh, Wurzburg might get the progress from the mission itself, which would be pretty swell. Now control that, that's good. I'll probably just give Thuringia a bunch of land. And we'll see if uh, Portugal does anything. I'm not sure if they need Imperial Authority to declare the whole... Oh, this is unlawful territory. I think they... Don't think they do, which is a shame. Sturbina has come under our control. That's good. Yeah, we're definitely taking a lot of attrition, sadly. They haven't, but their army is just pissed off. It's not even a contest anymore. It's not even funny. Not even ironically. So disappointed. Oh well. We'll build up some war exhaustion in Bohemia. Because hey, why not? You know, they're jerks. You guys, by the way, are now going to get the uh, the Four Siege Leader. Because hey, guess what? where you're going. You don't want to know. Trust me. It's going to be very cold. He's at level 9. Oh dear. Oh, that do. 
I mean, you can only six, siege out of level 6, but it's going to reduce attrition a little bit. A little bit, perhaps. It is currently middle of the winter. That's not helping. Right, you guys come home. You guys are still sieging that out. Proud of you. Let's get 2,000 more units out of there. Bloody fully defensive, normal winter, siege. If I didn't have much manpower, I would actually be tempted to fall back for a few months. Uh, institutions. 780. That's getting a lot cheaper now. Might actually be tempted to go for it now. Ooh. That would be 36 for quite a bit of manpower, actually. Ortlesburg, what about you? Sure, we'll give you a boost as well. That might actually be enough to... Nope, but it's pretty close. We'll spend some admin as well. In the spirit of approving the country. Also, just to make that a little bit cheaper. What can I say? I'm really cheap. I'm really cheap. That should be fine. As soon as we embrace the institution, the tech cost should go down by 10%. Also, just the fact that we have a lot of military ideas. We can spend a bit more military. It's fine. You know what? Let's just do that. That should fix any of that. Wordsburg now embraces manufacturers a hell of a lot more. Doesn't actually make a difference, though. Which is a shame. Oh, there we go. Mecklenburg is sieging that out for me. That's good. Actually, it took quite a bit of attrition, even after, like, moving everyone out. That's not needed. Damn. That's a nice Ansbug. Eh. Let's build a plantation in Schmaden. No! No, 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 no. That's a baloney mission. Seriously? Only 0 .002 for 400 ducats? That's ridiculous. You should never agree to such a deal. That's not a deal, that's a rip-off waiting to happen. What happened to our spies over here? Did they get caught again? Damn it. Yes, they did. Beautiful. Nuremberg, what about you? Allied with Mainz and Ravenburg. Still a free city in the Empire, eh? Saltburg is an elector, Mainz is an elector, Bavaria is an elector. So they're up to three electors again, but still. The Holy Roman Empire is forever broken. Can't wait for it to disband because it doesn't have any people left. Like, they're starting to run out of legitimate emperors. Oh, for God's sake, just surrender. Only 600 ducats now, that's getting a lot cheaper. Yeah, for that cost, I think we'll embrace as soon as the next year rolls around. Ooh, a Grand Captain! Gets his land maintenance modifier minus 10. Finally won that damn siege. It's about time, really. You're allied to the Knights in Hungary. I'm tempted to declare war on you just to vassalize you, but we don't have a CB. Oh well, that's all of Bohemia carpet sieged. Let's go back to Bamberg now, boys. We can grab all the techs, that's good. 620 ducats, I mean, we have got 5200 ducats, it's time to be a little less cheap about all this. Also, our fort maintenance is through the freaking roof. And it's still not helping our army tradition a lot. It's horrible. I'm down to a point 0.8. 
Hold on, sabotage the military room. You absolute cretins. I'm gonna wipe you off the face of the earth for that. Seriously, this is annoying. We have so much foreign spy detection and they get enough to pull that off. Are you kidding me? Don't get any for this. We got 9.4% bonus from detecting from from our prestige. Plus 15% from all our stability. And yet we still can't find out a goddamn Polishman trying to sabotage our plumbing. Infuriating, really. Also, Bohemia, where's your army hiding? I'm gonna let you sit there and think about what you've done. God's sake. Ansbach, I might feed you... Province is down here at some point. Not Nuremberg though. Nuremberg is going to belong to us. Yeah, they're sitting there quite nicely. Embrace. Ah, uh, we'll wait until the war is over. Like, war exhaustion is going to take up a bit more for Bohemia. They're not going to enjoy it, but I will. Like, I want Nassau to be a vassal, but... I'm going to break Bohemia while we're at it. And I'm going to feed Nassau some parts of Köln, other places there, perhaps Aiken, but first Köln. And then we'll probably diplo annex them before it gets too, before they get too large. That would be great. Bohemia, are you dead yet? Eh, you're starting to roll around. We'll wait until the call for peace happens, and then we'll piece them out. I guess, you know, breaking them is fun. Probably could humiliate them, actually. Oh yeah, we'll get the humiliate. That's gonna fix our power projection problem. War reparation, money. Uh, you'll annul treaties with Brabant. Diplomat Victor just died. You'll annul your alliance with Georgia, uh, the Ottomans. Uh, it's not going to give us a lot of prestige. I don't care about Georgia. I don't care about Lithuania. And your rivalry with Poland as well. Yeah, we'll just peace you out now. That's going to up our prestige again a little bit. And make the institutions a, a duck or so less expensive. Goods produced modifier goes up. We can now do all the technologies. Next up, another idea group. Ooh. Next up, Navy morale. Navy attrition is long, no longer increased. We're staying out at sea. Excellent. And new ships. And stock exchange. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. We'll upgrade our military. Only 450 uh, points as well. Cool. That's good. Now we're going to piece out our new vassal. With all your money. I want you to... Yeah, that's about it, actually. Just... Do that. Excellent. Oh, y do you have any cores anywhere in Nassau? Vant, Moonster, Hell, uh, Runswick, or Bands. Nassau doesn't have any cores anywhere, do they? Have any claims? Nassau, do you have any claims? Are you do you live an interesting life? Cleansing of heresy against mains. Would that give us a CB, I wonder? Nope, 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 nope. They're guaranteed by France. France really What are you doing, France? I like with Papal State and Lunda. I really would really like it if you like me, but I understand that you don't. Nassau is pretty pissed. Their opinion of us sucks. Trust is low. Diplo rep is high. I could placate you. And instead I'll just start improving relations with you, I guess. Try not to break free too quickly. That'd be great. Also, we're totally fabricating problem, uh, claims on Brabant now. No, 
might be suspicious how we just happen to get those, but hey, we don't mind. We just surpassed Bohemia, I think. Yep. Good. We're going to have to announce a new rival then. Which will be... France has less army than us. I don't want to fight France, though. I'll fight Kebab. Kebab is weak. Especially compared to Prush Prush. <laughs> anyway, we're going to leave it here for the episode. If you enjoyed the video, do let me know by leaving a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Prussia is getting stronger and stronger, and in the year 1800, all of this will be owned by us. Except for Britain. We might vassalize them, I don't know. Anyway, if you want to watch more EU4, but you're not yet subscribed to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button to get notified when a man power goes back up, among other things. That's it for now. Thank you all for watching. Till next time. Have a good one, folks.